webcast this spring about various White Sox who stepped up last year, like Tim Anderson, Yoan Moncada, the list goes on. Bummer is right in there because in 2018, he had a 4 2 6 ERA in 37 games. Last year, he cut that in half a 2 1 3 ERA in 67 in the third innings. And Bummer, who's from right around this area, went to high school down the road from here in Peoria, Arizona, delivers. Ball one to Nick Senzel. Bummer had drafted by the Yankees, didn't sign. The White Sox did sign him later on. And just a good story of a guy who has just improved every year. It's been a great for me to be here and see this progression for three years and every year in the locker room before the, before the camp really opens. Strike game, one. The game started. And, you know, here's a guy, it was a mental thing. He knew he had the stuff. He just had to hone his skills mentally and, and make sure he had the confidence to, to get hitters out. It's simple as that. And, and he finally figured that out last year after spring training, he told me. Uh, had an oblique issue and came back and had a strong year. The right center, Ingles got it. One out, Ingle tracking that one. And the batter, Nick Castellanos. Bummers, the third Sox pitcher. Cease went three plus, allowed the three runs. Steve Ciszek goes an inning and gets a strikeout, nothing else. He only faced two hitters, got a double play ground ball, and struck out Blake Trahan to finish the inning. Castellanos has grounded out against Cease and walked and scored in the third against Cease. And Bummer going head to head now with Nick Castellanos. Castellanos was out there for a long time as a free agent before the Reds signed him. Strike one. He's got a great bat. You know, last year, uh, Russ, some of the numbers Bummer put up tied for fourth in baseball, first batter efficiency. Hitters hit 115 first batters against him. So he comes in there and gets the outs immediately. Critical for a reliever. Here's the 0 1. Boy, that's a sharp breaking ball with good bite. Castellanos chomping on the gum. That's a tough pitch right there, 0-2. And, and he was tied for 6th in holds, 27. 7th in ERA, 2.13. Tied for a ninth in opposing average, batting average, 184. What a year for Aaron Bummer. 1-2. Aaron works real fast, doesn't mess around out there, and comes right at you. 97 miles an hour. That's pretty firm for anybody, especially a lefty. Here's the one-two now. Bummer uncoils, and here it comes. 97 again, but below the knees. Two and two. Kind of a similar story with Jace Fry. They both were searching for their mental approach to the game and got it and had the confidence. You hear a lot of these young kids say they you have to feel like they, they belong in the big leagues, and that's just all mental. to his right, has trouble with it, and safe at first is Nick Castellanos. That's an error. That's him. Anderson has some great range. He's an outstanding shortstop. Balls that give him the trouble are the seemingly the easy ones sometimes. 0-1. Castellanos at first, held on by Nick Delmonico. Bummer a glance there, and there's a good 91-mile-an-hour pitch with a nice wrinkle in it, and Dietrich waved at it. Strike two. touched on some of their great teams of years gone by, but of course, they're most famous for the big red machine of the 70s. Good pitch. He just blew him away at 97 miles an hour. Throw to first and back in there is Castellano. So, Bummer collects a strikeout in the batter, Kurt Casale, who struck out and walked and knocked in a run. Yes, yeah, Sparky Anderson. There's the pitch. Bummer just looks great. He's, <laughs> he's at a, in, in mid-season form here in, in the Cactus League. Again, Casale 0 for 1 with a walk and a run batted in. Strike one. Good pitch. 95 right in there. This is Bummer's third appearance. Zeros. It's in their history, including Wait Hoyt. 
He used to tell Yankee stories during rain delays. There's a strike, three and two. <laughs> the Reds would let Wade Hoyt just go on rain delays, and in Cincinnati, he had your share of rain delays. And he would talk about Ruth and Gehrig and all that stuff. Can't beat it. Amazing. Castellanos will be off and moving on a 3-2 pitch with two outs. Bummer reads McCann, set to go. Castellanos goes, and that's a ground ball wide at third. Moncada momentarily juggles, but recovers and throws him out, and that's the inning. So Bummer, another good inning for Aaron Bummer. No runs, no hits, one Sox error, one left. We head to the bottom of the fifth inning here at Camelback Ranch. Tossed in, and they're going to allow him to at least start this inning with Mark Payton leading off. Sox have a new shortstop. Danny Mendick goes in. So Tim Anderson done for the day. Mendick in at short. That's the only change, I believe. Strike one to Peyton. Peyton grounded out. Hit a pop fly single that fell in front of a diving Eloy Jimenez in left center field to drive in a run. Peyton has made at least one very good play. Of his memories of bygone days. <laughs> Plenty of them. <laughs> in Chicago. Here's the 2-1. Strike two and two. Peyton didn't think so. Two and two. Known Roger for a long, long time, and uh, dad too, Gene. In fact, I faced Roger Boster. In the this is three two now <laughs> to Mark Peyton. Off the glove of Bummer, and right there is Mendick, and they get him. That's a, a one six three the hard way, but they got it. The deflected ground ball, one out for Alfredo Rodriguez. And here comes Rick Renteria. He's going to make a change. Yep, they got the out, and that's going to be it for Aaron, uh, who again was sparkling, one and one third, one strikeout. Got an error behind him, but he overcame that with ease. And he's had a scoreless spring training and a hitless spring training going for the, the veteran left-hander getting the. Uh, Fist pumps out there. You know, Major League Baseball has indicated uh, to the players. Uh, with